let's now discuss subtracting fractions. It's the same basic thing as adding same basic rules in general. It's just we're subtracting, not adding. Just like before, let's start simple. 5 6 minus 3 6. And again, you could write these up and down. 5 6 minus 3 6, up and down, side to side. There's no difference in what you do. Since we have a common denominator, we're good to go. All we have to do is subtract the top numbers. It's just 5 minus 3. Let's see, 5 minus 3, that makes 2. So the answer is on the top 2, 6. Now, oh, something should have gone off in your brain when, boop, 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 boop. wait a minute, I can't leave it that way. Two basic rules about fractions. Basic rules. Mandatory. Always do these. If you can reduce your answer, you better do it. You must reduce the answer. Now, this is not an improper fraction, but if it is an improper fraction, always convert that to a mixed number. So in this case, I have to reduce. Well, what can I divide 2 and 6 by? Well, 2. Divide this by 2, that makes 1. Divide this by 2, that makes 3. So there is my final answer. But that was an easy one because we already had a common denominator. Here we don't. <clears throat> Same basic thing as with adding. I need to have a common denominator. Can I enlarge my smaller denominator to and make it into an eight. Yeah, I multiply by four, that becomes this, so I can leave this one alone. Don't mess with him. I have to, quote, mess with this one, enlarge this one, but leave this alone. So again, I'm gonna say the same thing. The way you put it down does not matter. I'm just gonna rewrite this off to the side. I'm gonna make this into something over eight. If I wanna write it below it, above it, whatever you wanna do is fine with me. I'll never know anyway. What do I do to a 2 to convert him into the number 8? Why well, get multiplied by 4? The top says, me too, me too. So multiply him by 4. That's 4. So now that became this. Now it is 7 eighths minus 4 eighths. Common denominator, just subtract the top. 7 minus 4 is 3. And just carry over the same denominator. Can I mess with this one? No. It's already reduced to lowest terms. That's good. That's the final answer, 3 eighths. Another one. Well, they're not the same denominator, so I must enlarge one or the other or both. Well, in this case, can I enlarge my smaller denominator, 3, and make them to the bigger one? No, I can't enlarge a 3 into a 4, so I must enlarge both. So how about the simplest thing, of course, multiply the two together. Our common denominator is going to be 12. So you can rewrite these off to the side below them. Doesn't matter. Let's enlarge this to be something over 12. Enlarge this to be something over 12 also. So what do I do to the three to convert him into the number 12? Times four. Top number times four becomes eight. So I'm just marking about this so they won't be in the way cluttering your brain. You can do whatever you want to to keep track of all this. What do I do to the four to make him into the number 12? Why well, I multiply by three. So this top times three also becomes three. So it is eight twelfths, <coughs> excuse me, minus, <coughs> minus three twelfths. Common denominator, now I can subtract eight minus three. Get out your calculators. Well, that's going to be five. So five is on top. Keep the same denominator. Can we reduce that? No. It's already a proper fraction. Of course, if it were improper, you have to convert that to a mixed number. We've done everything we can, and that is your final answer. Looking good, making sense, I hope. Hey, next, ooh, we're going to get into subtracting mixed numbers, mixed fractions. That's a little tricky. In fact, that's real tricky. So, uh, go get you Dr. Pepper, get some brain food, do something, take a little break, and we're going to hit this a uh, little more difficult topic for some people in just a while. Wow, four clicks. I hadn't done this yet. Come on. <laughs> 